Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be doing a video on Dragon Ball Legends. So uh, this is going to be an introductory video to the game. Now there's not going to be any gameplay, so I will probably be doing a gameplay video at another point in time. But if you've joined me in my live streams, I have demonstrated. I took about like the week before or a couple days before Dragon Ball Legends had hit. Um, I downloaded it from using a, a VPN to get me uh, access from Canada. Um, so I downloaded the game and I got some basic understanding of what the game is, how to play and everything. By the time it came to the United States, I ended up re-rolling for all of the units that I wanted. You need to get a specific combo uh, to start off the game. Now, if you're like watching this like three months from now, a year from now, two years from now, who knows? I don't know when you're going to watch this. It's currently May 22nd, 2018, the day that I'm recording this. So a lot could have changed by then. But this is the opening to Dragon Ball Legends, where we only have the first five sparking characters. Uh, the game's brand new. Now, what is um, Dragon Ball Legends? Well, my personal thing, I think that Dragon Ball Legends is Dokkan Battle's answer to PvP. Now, I know a lot of people have talked about wanting a PvP in Dokkan Battle, and uh, they tried to implement some other game mechanics in Dokkan, like Battlefield, which was a big bust that never came to global, um, and people have wanted something new. Now, it's really hard to go into the code and revamp an entire application to incorporate a brand new system. So I think what it had happened is Bandai was like, you know what, we need to do PvP. PvP is something that's being really asked for. Um, I believe they do Duel Links, but I know that Duel Links has a huge following and it's based. Uh, Bleach Brave Souls has a big thing for PvP as well. And I think Naruto, the Naruto Boruto game has, it's not really PvP per se, but it has a attack mode where you can go and attack your villages. So I know that Bandai has been, you know, playing with this. So, Dokkan Battle, or Dragon Ball Legends, is actually really interesting. It, it kind of, to me, feels like one of the old school games. Uh, I think it was like Budokai 2, Budokai 3. You you have the ability, It's I think it's really only 180 degrees, but it feels like it's 360 degrees where you can go around your enemy. You could dash forward, you can go backwards, you can do key blast, power up, you can charge your energy. You could do melee attacks and special attacks. And each fighter has their own Z ability that you can click in and it will do some type of, um, uh, it'll increase whatever stat or debuff the enemy, stuff stuff like that. There's a lot going on and I'll probably talk about it, about talk about a little bit more when I do an actual gameplay in terms of the mechanics. But again, this is going to be more of a basic guide um, to Dragon Ball Legends based off of written down information. And uh, with that, I want to say shout out to the Reddit. If you guys are interested, it's, Reddit is Dragon Ball Legends, all one word. This is the Reddit community that I'm following. Um, this is the community that has the most followers right now. It's like 12.7 thousand subscribers. Um, it's a huge community following. Also, shout out to Renzi. Um, Legends.dbz.space is a thing. So for those of you who are interested, it's a, it's a little bit of a extra from Dokkan Battle, um, the dbz.space. So Legends.dbz.space is available here. You can go over, you can check out the news as of right now. The news, you can check out the characters, the story, the summons, the items. We're going to explore the site. I actually haven't explored Renzi's site yet. Um, by the way, if you haven't noticed, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. So make sure you sit tight and watch this when you're, you know, when you don't got that much to do and you want to pay attention to figure it out. So welcome to the combat guide. This is shout out to Straight String. Um, the, he wrote this guide or she wrote this guide. And pretty much this is the basic stuff here. If you want to dash forward, flick your finger forward. If you want to punch, you tap the screen. Um, you need to make sure you're right next to the enemy in order to do that. You might need to dash, you know, flick the screen forward to get to them. Now, keep in mind that they can dodge this or they can launch up their own attacks. Dashing does not defend you whatsoever. You can do a single key blast when you're ranged away from the enemy. So when you're away from the enemy and tap the screen, you do a key blast. So again, when you want to do melee damage, you have to flick yourself towards them, dash towards them in order to do punch. Um, recharging is when you hold down your finger in the middle of a battle, you will see yourself start to charge up. That leaves you vulnerable, though. You cannot dodge, you cannot do anything while you're charging, so you need to be very careful when you do that. Um, you have vanishes, which means it, you'll see a little exclamation point on the enemy, and you tap either to the left, so you swipe left, or you swipe right, and you will dodge. You have one chance to dodge, and it takes about like five seconds to rejuvenate. Uh, you could also switch characters who will then have another ability to dodge, uh, right at that moment. So dodge, change your character, you'll have another instant chance to dodge. Just some basic stuff, basic information. Um, there are four separate cards as of right now. You have strikes, which it looks like a big fist. Um, it allows you to launch towards your opponent and land a whole bunch of punches. You have blasts, which is just basic key blast. Strikes right now in the game are about 20 cost. Blasts are 30. 
your opponent can make them go up or your own team can make them go down in cost. Specials are about 50. Um, it launches like Goku's Kamehameha or Paikuhan's Fire, uh, Flame Kick, or whatever that is, uh, Krillin's Destructo Disc, etc. Um, and then there's the buff card, which is the Green Arts card, which gives you a buff. Uh, this card gives a unique buff to your character. For some, it heals. For some, it increases their damage potential. It's important to know that these buffs stack. Characters like Extreme Goku and SP Vegeta will get huge boosts in damage if you stack these with their main ability. So remember, if you have a character who has a really good main ability for increasing their attack, and the card art, um, the actual buff it gives you uh, an additional buff, they're going to do a lot of damage. You also have your main ability, which I was talking about before. I called it a Z ability, but it's not for incorrect. It's actually called the main ability. All characters have a specific main ability. Some will have heal for all your characters. So like Piccolo, the current sparking Piccolo, click on Piccolo, he will have the ability to heal everyone on your team. Some will increase blast damage, some will do strike, um, some will unlock an ultimate ability, and he's going based off of like the Goku, the Paikuhan, and all that stuff. Uh, Goku, when you click on him, he will unlock a special ability, so then after you use one of the arts cards, um, the next one that comes up is a 20 cost, like Kamehameha, like a melee slash Kamehameha. You also have this thing called the Rising Rush. Uh, if you played the tutorial, you would know about all of this, but the Rising Rush allows you... It's essentially each card art, sometimes it will show up with a Dragon Ball on it. When you get all seven Dragon Balls, it allows you to do a Rising Rush. I would recommend doing it with a character with type advantage or your most powerful character you have available to switch into them and allow you to go after them. Um, you select a card, your opponent selects a card, and if you and your opponent have different cards, you land a successful blow and you can get your opponent, you can actually almost kill your opponent. It's one of the most um, powerful attacks currently. Um, there's some recommended combos for beginners, and we'll talk about that when I do an actual gameplay video about how to play. Um, some other things I was talking about, vanishing, doing triple dashes and everything. So uh, that's, that's the basics of the game and, and the in-game mechanics and how it kind of works. Let's go and talk about other things. Um, the main Reddit over here, you have the post index um, by DeMaio. So the shout out to DeMaio. You have the rules of the Reddit, so obviously make sure you read the rules of the Reddit. Always make sure you do the Reddit. There is a Discord, so you can go communicate with people if you want to go and do that. They have two beginner's guides, they have a sparking unit st stat spread, extreme hero stat spread, team building guide, which we're going to talk a little bit about that as well, damage modifiers, and soul boost cards. Now, um, I'm going to try to give you a quick overview. Characters you want, and I've, like, well, shout out over here to ZFZ. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of Zs and Fs in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's a whole bunch of people in the community, and I've read through multiple Reddit posts, so again, thank you to the Dragon Ball Legends Reddit. Um, there's a lot of information about what characters have. And the big, big consensus here is to make sure you have Piccolo. Now, I completely understand. I play Bleach Brave Souls, as most of you who follow me know. I'm a huge Bleach Brave Souls, even though I haven't brought it to the channel. Um, and the one thing I will say is healers don't come around often. There's really not a lot of healers in game. I mean, there, there's a point where you have one healer, but it's only for a specific attribute. Um, and in terms of like damage reduction, there's there's very little amounts of good damage reduction units in game. So, you know, a really good hitter is going to come along all the time. You know, you're always going to have at least one really good unit that's going to do damage. But it's it sometimes it comes far and few between when you have a unit that could really tank damage and heal. And Piccolo's special ability, um, when you swap in, like when you see that exclamation, or when someone's going and doing like a melee attack on you, you can do a character switch. And when they do that character switch, that character can actually go in and take damage and they will push you out of the way. Piccolo has an ability where when he does that, he receives 50% of the damage that a um, unit would normally take um, to reduce the amount of damage taken. He also has a special ability that allows him to heal himself and all characters on the team. You get a health regeneration. So he is a very good unit for that reason. And again, remember, this is a PvP game, so you want to make sure you're alive. You don't want to lose any characters because every character can be beneficial to you. Now, characters that you want in terms of pairing. Um, there are multiple characters here. The first five that are currently available, if you guys are looking. Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Paikuhan, and Pan. Those are your sparkings. Those are the equivalent of SSRs in-game. Now, from what I've read, obviously, like I said, Piccolo is the best. The other two that you're going to want is either Paikuhan or Vegeta. Vegeta has the highest damage output out of all the characters, from what I've read. Paikuhan has the highest melee damage. So you're going to want Piccolo and Vegeta or Piccolo and Paikuhan. 
Now, I re-rolled about 28, 30 times before I actually got the combo of Piccolo and Vegeta. Then I picked up the Super Saiyan Goku uh, starter pack, because you had, like, Chrono Crystals and everything like that. So, I did that. That's That was what I chose to do. Um, if you have Pic Piccolo and Piccolo on your title of rerolling, that's not a bad start. Or Piccolo and Vegeta, not a bad start. Super Saiyan Goku is good. Don't get me wrong. He is a very good unit. The thing is, he is one of those overall units. He has the overall average stats. He doesn't exceed in anything special. He will do decent melee damage. He'll do decent blast damage. He does have that special where you get that 20 cost Kamehameha, which will definitely help out a lot. But if you're looking just to do raw damage, definitely going to be Vegito, Vegeta. Sorry, and Paikuhan's definitely good for um, for melee damage. Also, Pan. Pan is a support unit in game. Now, a lot of people will say sometimes Pan is a must. Some people say it's not. It really depends. We're going to talk about that. I'm probably going to do a full team build in a separate video with the current units that are out. Uh, Pan can play an essential role in you winning events. Uh, but as of right now, at least when you do your rerolls, you're really going to want to focus on Piccolo and a hard hitter. So look for Piccolo, Vegeta, or Piccolo and Paikuan. Personally, I would go with Piccolo and Vegeta if you can, if you get that lucky. If you pull more, hey, good for you. Um, the other thing is, remember, Vegeta and Goku have very good links. Uh, and Goku will link well with all the other newer units in the game. Well, because it's Goku and he's the main character. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's also this ability called a Limit Break. If you Limit Break your characters, when you summon a character, you get Shard. So when you pull a sparking unit, you will get 600 Z power or shard. When you pull an extreme unit, you get 250. When you pull a hero unit, this is summon. Uh, when you pull a unit, which is the lowest grade, you get 100 Z power. Uh, 100 Z power is what required is what required for you to um, end up getting um, a character to be playable. So you need to have 100. Um, and let's see over here. There's more information about that. Um, I had an actual chart that was available very very useful about about the shards okay so yeah total shards so when you acquire shards 100 shards will allow you to play the character if you get 200 shards you're this one star then health attack strike uh strike and blast defense strike and blast and critical goes up to five up by five percent um so you have 200 there's that 400 is going to give you health buff attack for strike and blast up defense First strike and blast up and a critical goes up by five more percent um let's see over here uh when you get a total cost of 700 your z ability gets an upgrade when you get 1400 your start your card becomes a four star that's a big pain that's strong you need to get like you need to get uh two uh sparking units of the same unit now i have a piccolo and my piccolo is at 1200 right now so i need 200 more in order for him to get up to 1400 you get additional health attack defense and critical up 2400 gives your Z ability another upgrade. That's a five star. And then you have what is this, a six star for 5,000 health, attack, strike, defense, and critical goes up again. And then if you like max out with like 10,000, your Z ability gets a final upgrade. It looks like it's a seven star. So like for whales out there, yeah, you, any, you can whale. Um, I, I, I have mixed opinions about this because if you are a whale, you are definitely going to be able to destroy everything. But so far, I have played PvP, and it looks like they do a decent job in matching people up. Uh, I don't think you're going to go up against that many people who are that much a far, far above you. But I don't know if they're doing it by rank as of this time, or your current uh, card ability. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. Um, I think a more realistic thing is maybe up to the second uh, Z ability upgrade for everyone, 2400. I don't Unless you get super freaking lucky, or are a whale, you're probably not going to go over 2400. And 2400 is just four, uh, uh, essentially four dupe paths. Uh, unlock. Um, yeah, so you need four dupes of a card. But yeah, so that's that. Um, uh, I I think that's really about all I had for, for, for your limit break. There are different types of characters here. Just like in Dokkan Battle, the um, red, purple, blue, yellow, green, all of them have the same exact type advantage as they do in Dokkan, so it's not going to be that hard. But they incorporate two others. You have light and you have dark. So you have light characters and you have dark characters. There was another um, thing over here. So this is what it is, right? So, physical, so we're going to go by it based off of what Dokkan calls them, because I feel like my, my followers are all Dokkan players, so it's going to help you out. Uh, yellow is physical, intelligence is purple, uh, green is technique, agility is uh, speed is blue, power or strength is red. Uh, light is over here, and then you have um, your dark. So from what I'm seeing over here, everything is the same. Each of these is the, more powerful than the other. Red is more powerful than physical or yellow. Um, yellow, purple, purple is more better, is better than green, green better than blue, blue better than red. 
you have dark, and it looks like dark is better than all of... And then you have light, which beats dark. So that's what it looks like to me anyway. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit better for you guys to see. Um, and that's what it's looking like to me. I don't think that light is better than any of these guys. I'm pretty sure that's just how it is. So if you have a dark character, you're, if, you ever, if we ever get a dark character, dark character is going to be a very OP unit in the game, unless you're going up against the light character. So just remember that dark characters look like very, very powerful at some point in the game. Um, let me go ahead and close out of this real quick because I already went over all of that. Um, in terms of leveling up, honestly, leveling up just like anything in Dokkan Battle anywhere else, there's no special stage right now to level up. You do have the ability to go in and do some training. It doesn't really level you up that much. So go to the hardest stage that you could possibly find that you have grinded up, that you beat, and just run that as much as you can. That's going to be your best way as of right now to level up. Uh, there are these things called adventures, which is just like little side missions. You, you go, you click on the mission, you select the quest, that you want to do check the details of it send a character that has a type advantage and then send them on the quest you'll get some random stuff like training items um some soul boosts and stuff like that or some zenny and it's definitely worth doing i do my dailies um you also have ability to soul boost which is like the dupe system um you can go in and you can increase their stats i definitely have, uh, recommend doing that as of right now you also have the ability to farm in order to do a soul boost you need to get the spe uh, special soul orbs or you know it's essentially just the same thing the potential orbs uh, book 4, Chapter 7, Yellow Orb. Book 4, Chapter 6 is Purple. Chapter 5 is Green. Chapter 3 is Green. Chapter 2 is Blue. And Chapter 1 is Red. So keep that in mind. Again, this is out over at the Reddit if you want to check that out. Uh, Z ability will be active during a battle even if your character is just sitting in the party and not battling. So like if a character has an ability like, you know, like your actual card cost is reduced by 50% for like the first 30 seconds of the battle. That's not something that's out right now. But I could see that being a thing. First 30 seconds of battle, 50% cost of your uh, of your uh, cards, right? As long as they're on your team in, like, battling, but, like, not on the field, that will take effect. Um, it gives different buffs, but depending on the character. For example, Shallot gives a 10% max health to characters with the Saiyan tags. And there are tags. Uh, I guess you could think of that like a category tag, um, how, how we have the category system. And if you have that category tag on you, you will get the buff. Um, so that's pretty awesome. You have an exchange shop, it's just like the Baba shop. I don't really recommend really using it. It says here to use level 2 uh, soul orbs would probably be the only thing you would want to use it on. Um, I personally don't think I'm going to ever use it. I'm going to wait because you never know what's going to come out in the future. I might, I may buy some level 2 orbs if I can't get enough for Vegeta. But um, that's what I'm probably not, I'm probably not going to go spend anything in the exchange shop. Because you know how upgrades go. A year from now they could have some really crazy stuff. And I've, I just save up all of my uh, shop uh, items. I'll be really good. They also have this thing called friendship rank. Uh, which each card can have, every card could have their own friendship rank. Uh, the more the friendship rank increases, when they get to max friendship rank, they could inc they could teach Shallot, who is the original character in the game. Shallot has the ability to learn any move. You have this ability, can it teach? So like Paikuan has his uh, his, his uh, flaming kick, his fire kick. And he when you have him maxed out with max friend status, you can teach Shallot the fire kick. That's going to make Shallot a really good character in the game, by the way. Uh, looks like you have bots in PvP, so keep that in mind. Bots will usually come up um, when there's no one available for you to fight. Obviously, the game is brand new. So, there's going to be times when you go to play the game and there's not going to be anyone available. So, they'll go and they put stuff up. It looks like they're doing stuff like Chiaotu, Frieza, Nappa, Krillin, anything with all capitals. Um, I've only seen player. That's all I've seen is player at all capitals, so that's all I saw. Um, but yeah, so you, know, you can run into a bot. Um, let's see, after a recent update which allows you to level up to 1,000, bots can be easily beaten. Now, there's also special skills versus special moves because this is a very confusing thing and I was still confused about it. Um, there are chances that you'll encounter those missions because every every event that you go in to beat, there is a list of missions there. And some of them are very simple. You know, you know, uh, have a blue character land two hits. Have a green character on your team or land a rising rush. You know, or do three key blasts or something like that. The special skills versus special moves does confuse people because it's brand new and we don't have the lingo down yet. There are character there are chances that you'll characters. Uh, sorry, there are chances that you will encounter those missions that will ask to you to use special skills or special moves. It can be confusing to know at first what special skills or special moves. Green arts cards are considered a special skill. So the green arts cards unlock uh, will get is a special skill. So essentially, think of it like this. A green arts card is going to increase your stats 
Think of it that's as a skill. You have this the ability to do that. Um, a special move is a blue arch card, which means it's a special move. It's a Kamehameha attack that's a special move. So keep that in mind. So, I mean, it's very simple. Um, he says he's going to attach a picture here, which is probably going to help me out with my explanation as well. So, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, a special move is Dodon Ray, which you see over here. Um, you're going to see this up over here on the left-hand side. Um, it looks like a big ball. It looks like a, almost like a almost like a spear bomb, I guess. And then a special skill. It looks like the sh a shuriken. Um, so and it's green. It's green arts card, blue arts card. That's really what it is. I mean, this this is the key blast arts card, and this is a strike. That's what I told you. It looks like a fist. This one looks like a key blast. So yeah, that's what that is. So there you go. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, green arts card is in their special skill, which blue right. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what you should you be doing? Free to play. I already told you guys. I highly recommend re-rolling as of right now. I highly, highly, highly recommend re-rolling your account until you get a Piccolo and Vegeta or a Piccolo and Paikuhan. Um, if you get more than one, I saw someone who got, um, it was Piccolo, Vegeta, uh, Goku, and Pan all in one summon. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be common. That sounds like it's very, it's really like ridiculous, but it can happen. So if you get lucky like that, just keep that account. Even if you're missing one of those units, I mean, uh, I, don't, I mean, I guess you could say, I mean, don't, don't, it's, it's kind of hard if you don't have a Piccolo, if you get four out of five and one of those isn't Piccolo. Piccolo is definitely going to be a, a, a character that you're going to need until another defender slash healer comes out. But I mean, honestly, if you think about it, if you have one really tough character and then you have two healers slash defenders on your team, you're going to be doing really well. Uh, but yeah, that's just that, that's that information. So I highly recommend rerolling. In terms of the characters, the current sparking characters that we're not going to go over extreme or anything like that. We're just going to talk about sparking. Super Saiyan Goku, we're going to talk about him. Health is 78,000. Strike is 8,300. Blast is 10,000. Defense is 5,000. Um, strike defense is 5,000. Blast defense is 5,000. Crit is 975. Key restored. Uh, SD, don't know what that's short for. Um, 1,678. So I guess it means he's going to be regenerating key uh, quicker. Arts cards, two strength arts cards, cool. And his ability is ultimate art arts card, super dragon fist, 25 count. So it's not 20, it's 25. That's really awesome. So I'm going to tell you that right now. Really awesome right there. You get, um, essentially, it's a, a free Kamehameha for 25 instead of 50. So it's half damage. You have Paikuhan. Um, looks like health is 88,000. Strike damage is 8,700, which is the highest in game right now. Uh, blast attack is 7,800, which is one of the weaker ones. Uh, Vegeta and Goku are above him with blast damage. Strike defense is 5,800, so other than the Piccolo, he has the highest defense for strike damage. Uh, blast defense, he's 5,700, which is, he's actually up there for that. I think Piccolo is the only one who has better blast defense than him. Crit is 895, key restore is 16, 9, uh, 1695. Arts card is um, strength or you know melee times two. Uh, he does his main ability plus ten cost to enemy strength and blast or yeah, attack and blast attack um, for ten seconds or ten to fifteen count. So there you go. Um, that's that and that's pretty cool. That's not that bad. It actually kills your enemy in PP. Um, you have Vegeta. Vegeta's health is seventy five hundred, so he has the lowest health out of everyone. His strike attack is sixty seven hundred, which is the weakest out of everyone, but it's blast attack. Ridiculous. Uh, 10,335. He has... Actually, he's... Wow, actually, Goku has a better blast attack than him? That's interesting, considering that everyone was saying that Vegeta is the highest damage. Oh, you know what it is? Vegeta does still have the highest damage output. I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, his blast defense is 5,700. Blast defense... I'm oh, sorry, strike defense is 57. Blast defense is almost 57. Crit is 994. Key restored is 1,800, 700, uh, 74, sorry, 1,874, blast times two for his arts card. The reason why he does more damage than Goku is because of his main ability. 50% increase the blast damage inflicted for 20 count, or yeah, inflicted for 20 count. That's 20 to 15 counts. Um, and Saiyan tag, last attack plus 17%. So his Z ability automatically gives Saiyans attack plus 15, 17% uh, for blast damage. And when you, his main ability is activated, he gets an additional 50%, which is phenomenal. Um, you have the Piccolo, 97, wow, yeah, 97,000 health, 7,600 attack, strike attack, 7,300 blast attack, which is very low. 
Uh, strike defense is 65. Blast defense is 62. Crit is 876. Um, key restoration is 1662. Arts card is strength and blast. You get one strength, one blast. His main ability when it activates is restores allies' health 25%, cures abnormal condition. Um, okay, so it, okay, so actually, I now I understand what this main ability thing is. So the actual first part of the accounts, the last part of the accounts over here is how long it takes to activate. So it takes 15 seconds before you're allowed to use that ability. Um, let's see over here for um, for Piccolo, green strength and defense plus 19 percent. So when his um, when he's on the field, green types will have a strike defense increase of 19 percent, and his unique ability. Uh, reduce damage by 50% when changing over. Uh, so it means when you switch him out, when you're about to get attacked, he will take damage, but he'll only take 50% as I talked about. Um, plus two own sub count. Uh, and 20% blast damage against Saiyan tag. So if he goes up against a Saiyan, he will, um, he'll have additional 20% damage. I don't know this plus two on uh, his own sub count. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, uh, there's just some extra information over here. Attack arts card, uh, major pierce. Oh, it just talks about their major stuff. Um, stat up arts card. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. And the last one is pan health is 8,500. Attack, uh, strike attack is uh, almost 7,000. Blast attack is 6,800. Strike defense is 5,200. Blast defense is 5,200. Crit is 965. Uh, key restoration is 2624. Arts card is strength and blast. Main ability minus 30% enemy key recovery for 20 counts. So uh, it looks like when enemy key is trying to recover, it's a minus 30%, so it increases the amount of time it takes for that key to return. So if you have a pan uh, main ability activated, plus a Paikuhan, they're not going to be able to do anything for 20 counts. It's going to be, well, for, the, for, for 10 counts, it's going to be ridiculous. Um, her Z ability, female tag warrior, or female tag strength and attack plus 19%, and she has a unique ability for 20% of own key restore speed for 25 counts from the battle start. Man, she's awesome. So, um, stat ups card. So that just means the, the card itself, uh, how much, what you're going to do. Uh, the Goku is going to be 15% damage inflicted for 20, uh, when it takes, uh, it goes for 20 count. Vegeta is 25 counts for 15. Um, or is that Vegeta or is that Paikuhan? So Goku, Vegeta, uh, Goku, Paikuhan, Vegeta, Piccolo. So Paikuhan is, uh, for 25 count. Vegeta is blast, 15% blast for 30 count. Um, Piccolo is 15% strike and blast for 30 counts, and Pan is 50 for strike inflicted for 30 counts. So pretty much pretty awesome cards. Maybe, um, so that's just what I figured uh, that I would go over with you guys so that way you know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about the cards. Maybe we'll talk about this and touch upon this again in the team building guide if I end up doing one. But, um, you can select three units on the teams, and again, I'm probably going to go along with, uh, uh, Vegeta and Piccolo definitely, and then maybe uh, throw Goku in there because he's a really good overall unit. Or Pen, if you're trying to, uh, if you need that key recovery. Um, let's see. We have the spreadsheet, which we already talked about. Comprehensive player guide, PvP. We already went over all that information. There's actually, in terms of summons, um, it's funny. There's a whole bunch of different summons that are currently available. Um, in terms of summon animations, I got a Spirit Bomb Goku, and I got a Super Saiyan Vegeta who destroyed Frieza. It was awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure that's really it. Sparking Units, uh, Stats Street. Uh, we already talked about that. Uh, damage modifier. So this is one last thing I need to go over with you guys. Uh, all in-game damage modifiers. I guess it's part one. Critical hits modifier 1.25, 25% damage increase. This critical does not bypass type disadvantage. So this is a soft crit. This means that, um, like in Dokkan Battle, when you get a crit that goes off, you bypass their your type advantage and you do a whole bunch of uh, different damage. It's not like that. It's the soft crit, which no one really talks about. Dokkan Battle does have a sub uh, a soft crit system, um, but it wasn't really ever noticed, and it doesn't really do that much damage. This modifier, though, when you hit land a critical hit, does a 25% damage increase, which is cool. Type advantage, you get a 50% damage increase. Type disadvantage, you take you do only 50% damage what you would normally do. Modifiers for criticals, type advantage, and disadvantage apply to the final damage value obtained from player attack stat minus enemy defense stat. So you're going to do player attack minus enemy defense and then the modifier. Um, basic attacks. Basic strike attacks modifier 5 hit combo um, equals strike attack stat times 0% buff. 7 hit combo is a 1.625. So strike attack uh, times 1.625. 
Uh, and then an 8 hit combo, a strike attack, plus 2.2 or 120% buff. Uh, basic Key Blast modifier is a 0% buff. Note, the modifiers for basic attacks apply to the respective attack stat, not the value obtained from player attack stat minus enemy defense stat. So modifiers for basic attacks um, are just their are, are respective attack, nothing to do with uh, that. Um, so that's awesome. So there you go, that's the attack information. Um, I think that's really all that there is to it. Their soul boost costs when you're trying to do the dupe system, essentially, the potential system. It's going to cost you a bunch of zenny for um, when you're under novice. It's going to cost you over 1 million zenny in order for you to unlock all the rising souls. You're also going to need 564 of the small ones. Rising soul 1 and 2 It's going to cost you a lot. Then other, I guess, is the level 2, which you're going to need 32 total. Uh, and then zenny's going to be 1.6 million for sparking. So you have that as well. I know some of this might seem like gibberish to you if you don't know what I'm talking about. It might make more sense after I go over it. Um, when I do a gameplay in terms of other news um, there, it looks like we're going to go under maintenance tonight. So we have upcoming maintenance for legends and that's going to be going on. Let's see 5 a.m. T from 523. So it's probably going to be going on tomorrow morning um, throughout whenever um, other things. Legends are in V jump as well. So we will have some V jump leaks um, and thank you for cheaters are getting punished. Do not cheat in this game. Do not use mods. You will get banned. You don't want your account banned. Um, and Renzi found the Z levels reward list. Um, I guess Z power over here, level 20, um, up to 80 for Piccolo, I guess. I don't know what the heck that's all about, so we'll look into that another time. Um, also over here, legends.dbz.space, like I said before. You can go over here, you can look at all the information. Renzi has all this awesome information about all the news. Uh, you have characters that are over here. It goes over all the characters. You could look, you could look for them by tags. You could look for them by experience levels. Um, I just go by list and you could look over here and he organizes it sparking first and then extreme characters and then hero characters. There's three different types of heroes. I mean characters right now in game. You have uh, heroes, you have extreme, you have SP or sparking. So sparking are SSRs, extreme are uh, SRs and heroes are like rares, I guess. There's no normal types. There's no ultra rares. I guess when you ascend your regular characters into like five star, six star, stuff like that, that's when they get better. Um is this this is a goku a sparking goku interesting um so we have a spark wait oh so that that's new um i i wasn't aware of this sparking goku over here the spirit bomb goku i guess that's one of the new ones that's coming out so look at that we just found out more information because this is probably going to go up so at some point tonight about uh legend so we have a new spirit bomb goku coming along so you have all that uh it, it looks like we have the story overview of what's happening in the story event um, one thing I read is the se the separate story from the main event. So like the Raditz story is the actual Dragon Ball Saga event or the Dragon Ball Z stuff. The hardest level that you can beat on Raditz is going to be how you level up very quickly. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Oh, and look, here we go with some of the summon. Um, this is the current summon banner that's currently available. So if you want to go and do a summon, you, you can get any of these characters. You can get Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, uh, Piccolo. Paikuan and Pen. Again, just go ahead and summon on that banner if you are looking for new units. Uh, again, but we already talked about. Oh, there's also in-game items that you could equip to people. It looks like you right now we only have one, two, three, four. I have all of them. Um, it's very easy to attain all of them. You get them just by playing the basic mission, the basic, the basic stuff. Um, these are the rising souls that I was talking about. You have the small ones and you have the large ones. These look like Super Soul 1, Super Soul 2. So you're going to want to go and do that. And these are the Z powers. This is what it looks like when you uh, summon. If you want, like, a, a sparking is going to be, like, this uh, yellowish, reddish thing. Uh, this one's going to be blue for a hero, and then extreme is going to be purple. Um, and, yeah, that's about it, guys. So that's a pretty much a full overview of everything Dragon Ball Legends without actually playing the game. I will be doing a gameplay tutorial as well. I just figured let me go over everything from the Reddit. Also, I want you guys to know what sites to use, or at least that I will be using moving forward in the future about this. So, again, um, legends.dbz.space and the Dragon Ball Legends Reddit so far. I haven't found anything else. If you guys are aware of anything else, maybe let me know about it. Uh, maybe there's a wiki for it, Dragon Ball Legends wiki. Uh, maybe there's something that's going on here. Look at this, Dragon Ball Legends Gamepedia. Um, we also have Dragon Ball wiki over here. Uh, that's Dragon Ball Z the Legend. So, uh, Dragon Ball Legends wiki, here we go. So, it looks like we have some more information over here. So, there you go. We have this game guy, Dragon Ball Legends, that Gamepedia, and we also have the Dragon Ball Legends 
can go check that out. I haven't read through them, so I'm going to go check them out myself. If you guys know of any other sites for awesome information, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow them up on Facebook as well. I'm pretty sure that they have the Facebook account. Um, so I'll be following them as there as well. But anyway, guys, this will be coming to my channel. So I'll be letting you guys at least know of news updates. I don't know how much gameplay I'll actually be doing. But I will at least let you guys know of the news that comes out with this game. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. And I'll catch you all later. Peace out.